All right, so welcome to our next topic in probability. And uh, now we're gonna talk about expected value. So expected value, um, it's kind of basically how gambling works. So all gambling, casinos, betting, and everything uh, works off just this basic idea of expected value. So the expected value is the formula for it. Uh, it's sort of hard to write in um, mathsy terms. It's kind of easier to write in words almost. So the expected value is equal to the sum of the values times the probabilities. Okay, so that might seem a little bit confusing, but I'll go through an example and it should be clear. So imagine a game where you have to throw a dice uh, and depending on what number the dice shows on top, you get that much money, say. So if it lands on one, you get one euro. If it lands on two, you get two euro, three, three euro, and so on. So we have this little table here I've, I've done out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the different sides of the dice. So the probability that it lands on each side is gonna be one over six. It's a fair dice. So each of them is gonna be one over six. Um, six a little bit better one over six the value you get from each of them so one two three four five and six and I can scribble in euros there I'm not gonna bother doing it for them all and um, so that's how much money you get for each one and now I'm gonna multiply the probability times the value okay so that that comes from the formula for expected value and this is something you have to uh, learn off of. this I don't think is in the um, formula book so expected value times so expected value is sum of the values times probabilities. So when I back to here, we're gonna multiply the, um, say this bit by this bit, the probability times the value. So this one here is gonna be one over six. This here is gonna be two over six, three over six, four over six, five over six, and six over six, okay? That's probability times value. So if we add all of those up, okay? That, and again, that's what the, formula says that to add all of these things individually up, we'll find that the expected value is 3.5 euro, okay? So what that means is if you played this game hundreds and hundreds of times, you'd expect to win on average 3.5 euro every time you, you throw the dice. So obviously you can't win 3.5 euro any individual time because you can only get one, two, three, four, five, or six euro. Um, but on average, if you can average everything up, um, it'll be as if you, say if you average it up after 100 goes, it'll be as if you threw 100 dice and you got 3.5 every single time. So that's the expected value. So I hope that makes sense because sometimes you get six, sometimes you get one, two, three, etc. cetera. Um, and overall, it'll even out as you're getting 3.5 every single time. So the reason that that is useful, say from, um, say from the gambling side of things, is that Say if you saw this game at a fairground or at a um, yeah at a fairground for example, uh, and there was a price to pay the game, you could work out what your expected value was every single time you threw the dice, and say if the price was three euro to play the game, then you should play it because overall, even though you might not win money every single time, because sometimes you'll get one or two euro, um, overall you will win money if you keep playing the game, and the same if it's four euro overall then overall you will lose money. So even though there's you have a chance of winning money, if you get five or six or four, if you stay the same, uh, overall you will lose money because you have more options to lose money in one, two, and three. So that's kind of what expected value is. You can work out what, what you'll do uh, or what you'll get if you play the game however many number of times. And like I said, that can be quite useful uh, and they ask questions on it. So that's all for this video. I'm just gonna kind of introduce you to expected value in the next game, next video. Um, I will go through a question where you have to use the expected value to find out if the game is fair or if you should play it, etc. Um, so yeah, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video where we actually use this in a question.